Calculating actual gas mileage can be very helpful in determining whether or not your car needs to be maintained or repaired, or if a maintenance or repair or modification has altered your gas mileage. The problem is a lot of people don't understand how to obtain actual gas mileage ratings. So what I'm going to do here is show you a simple equation that anybody can do on any car to figure out what their actual gas mileage is. In order to figure out your actual gas mileage, the first thing you're going to have to do is fill up your car with gas. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you have half a tank or three quarters of a tank or you're almost full or completely empty. Fill up your car all the way to the top. Now don't be clicking the pump. Just let the pump shut off. As soon as it shuts off, take the pump out and finish there. Don't round off to the next dollar. Don't round off to the next gallon. Just let it click off by itself. Next, before you start the car up after getting gas, go ahead and reset your trip meter to zero. If you don't have a trip meter, write down your mileage there. But most cars do have a trip meter that is functioning and functioning well. So go ahead and reset it to zero. Next, you just have to get in your car and drive away. Drive your normal routine for a couple days, whether it be going to work or taking the kids to school. But drive your car normally. You don't necessarily have to go all the way down to empty. But the more that you drive on that tank of gas, the more accurate your number will be, as it will compensate for days where you may get stuck in traffic and your gas mileage consumption might be a little bit greater. Just drive normally until you need gas again. When it comes time that you need gas again, go ahead back to the gas station and fill up again. I like to use the same gas station with the same pump with the car parked in the same position just to make sure my readings are as accurate as possible. You can use a different gas station and a different pump, but if the car's at a slightly different angle or the pump will shut off at a slightly different time, you might have small variances in readings, but either way, your reading should be very close. Before you hop back in and drive away, take a look at the pump and write down how many gallons went in. On this car it was 14.542 gallons. You would also just get a printout of your receipt which should have the reading on it. Next grab a pen or take your phone and take a picture of your odometer and see how many miles you've gone. You can see the trip meter says 310.3 miles. That's how long we've gone since the last time we got gas. Now we're just going to plug those numbers into our equation. We drove 310 miles, 310.3 miles, uh, and it took 14.542 gallons to fill up. We're going to divide 310.3 by 14.542, and that's going to come out to 21.34 miles per gallon. That's our average gas mileage. Now with that simple equation, you can log your gas mileage and see if your gas mileage is starting to slip. If it is, maybe time for some maintenance or repair. Uh, if you live in Northern Virginia, come on, check us out. It's WhitneyAutoRepair.com. We're located in Fredericksburg, Virginia. If you found the video at all helpful, uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. We have new videos coming out all the time. And once again, thanks for watching.